Bishop Mitchell Rosansky listened, then it was his turn to speak. This week, information gathered at the 10 listening sessions with the bishop was presented to representatives from parishes throughout Western Massachusetts. Kathy Harrington reports. Packing the gym at Mary Mother of Hope Church, more than 300 parish leaders from across the diocese gathered in Springfield this week to hear the bishop's report on his recent listening sessions. Bishop Rosansky explained that Pope Francis' first apostolic exhortation, The Joy of the Gospel, calls on Catholics to live the Church's mission of evangelization. It was the theme of last summer's Convocation of Catholic Leaders in Florida and the impetus of the bishop's winter and spring listening sessions that took the pulse of Catholics in western Massachusetts. Here in the Diocese of Springfield, we felt that an important part of uh, being at that convocation was looking at where we are as a church today, what do we need to be doing, what could we be doing better, Eight common themes emerged from the listening sessions. Create and build community within parishes. Youth and young adults. Lifelong faith formation. Spirituality. Diocesan and parishioner relationships. Cultural integration. Catholic schools. Clergy formation and support. Taking a break, discussion on the themes began immediately. Then after lunch, the delegates, separated into 17 groups made up of an average of 16 people, representing all aspects of church life. Tasked with reviewing the themes, the delegates shared their opinions, then ranked the themes in order of priority. Returning to the gym, each group shared their results. And it was wonderful with the amount of sharing of activities that are taking place at our various parishes. In addition to community, youth are seen as a top priority, along with the problem of reaching them. Ten-year-olds don't drive to church, so the, our children are at the mercy of their parents. So when we see a decline in our youth, I think we have to look at where, why, and, and it's what, how are we engaging young families. But I think the, the interesting thing was all the groups realized that if you, if you did number one, letter A, the other things would probably fall into place. So Melissa Hurst was one of the organizers of the day. We heard a lot of different things, which I was surprised, but also really kind of pleased with, that we weren't getting just the same answers from the same people. Um, even sometimes information that's difficult, it helps us grow and helps us figure out um, what we need to do next. Bishop Rosansky told the group that a pastoral synod is in the works to coincide with the 150th anniversary of the formation of the Diocese of Springfield in 2020. But... There were a lot of good ideas that were shared today, and it doesn't have to wait for the diocesan synod. These ideas could be implemented in, in many parishes today. So I'm encouraging those members of the parish staffs who are here, if they feel it could be implemented this coming weekend. Please implement it this coming weekend. You can find the bishop's full report on the listening sessions on diospringfield.org. I'm Kathy Harrington for Real to Real. The Pastoral Synod will take place in 2020 during the 150th anniversary of the founding of the Diocese of Springfield 